It's the 2018 Telethon for America, powered by When We All Vote, with appearances from Charlize Theron, Chelsea Handler, Amy Schumer, Jane Fonda, Natalie Portman, and many more. Now please welcome your hosts for the evening, Olivia Munn and Ben Glebe. Hello, and welcome to the first ever Telethon for America, powered by When We All Vote. (laughs) If we have to have a telethon just to get out your vote, we will have a telethon to get out your vote. We are actually all, right now, making history together. I haven't had enough beer. This is the first telethon ever with the goal of raising absolutely zero dollars. Zero. And I promise you one thing, we will succeed. Well, let me tell you about this video we have to make. Okay. We want people to vote, but it's also an opportunity to sort of showcase ourselves. If you don't get out there and vote, who knows what the future will hold? This is not a right to be taken for granted. I don't want any of you to worry, by the way. (laughs) We do have a celebrity phone bank, but they are being kept safely behind glass where they cannot harm you. If a celebrity does get out, though, please, this is very serious, do not feed them. Sure, many of them are very hungry, but it makes them aggressive. If you just don't agree with any of my opinions, it's probably best you don't vote. The telethon tonight is completely nonpartisan. Instead of asking for money, we're taking pledges from all of you watching to go vote tomorrow. It's very simple. Here is one of the very, very special guys that wanted to say hello, Mr. Judd Apatow. This is the moment when you can do something. So if you sit home and you don't do anything, then we're like a, like a situation where we're never gonna get anything done because we haven't done the one thing that's easy to do, which is to vote. Do you understand? I'm just saying you seem a little hateful. It seems a little, can you take it down a notch? Are we not allowed to have emotions anymore? You're allowed to have emotions, but I feel like that almost went into hate speech. It's, that's hate speech? I know what you're thinking, you're like, I don't have time. You have time. There's really no good excuse to not vote. Because who sits on our courts, our appellate courts, our Supreme Court matters. If I don't vote, then I can't complain. And I love to complain. Can you please go vote tomorrow? It's the best way to change your reality. All right, we're here in the celebrity phone bank. Jane Fonda. Jane, are you talking to somebody currently? So far, I've called one person who wasn't there. Are you leaving messages? Oh, yeah. That'll be a great message for them to get. Yeah, I know. This isn't my first rodeo. (laughs) (laughs) Only Ben Glebe would create a telethon that doesn't make any money. He does not want to be live. Yeah, no. <laughs> but um, you guys are you. having a private conversation, I guess. Yes. <laughs> I'm busy. Oh, you're busy. Boy, that brings me to tears. You can't find 10 minutes once every two years. We live in a great country, and if you care about something, you gotta be. You have to step up to the plate. I'm here just to ask you to vote, not for this creepy mustache. It's coming off. A lot of things are on the ballot that you probably don't realize. And everyone will smile at you, and you'll get the sticker. This year, the I voted sticker is scratch and sniff. Really? Yes. Is that alcohol down there you're drinking? This is, yes, yes it is. I just want to make it clear that there is a drink here. Throw a voting party tomorrow night. Go vote and pick up your favorite drinks on the way home. If you're not 21, find somebody to get you drinks. I feel like the one time bullying is acceptable is when you're getting people to vote. (laughs) I totally agree. Not very strong boundaries over here. You want to check in on how much money we have raised so far? I spoke to Mary in Georgia, and she's bringing her granddaughter, who's going to be voting for the very first time tomorrow. Our goal was zero. Let's see if we've made it. Yes! Keep the bar low. You always make it over. We're going to now go to a very special episode of Dr. Phil. You're not victims. <clears throat> Nobody's a victim. If you don't like it, vote. Visit telethonforamerica.com for more information. I'm on the floor begging you to go out there and vote. Exercise your right as an American. Vote for these midterms. Get out there and vote. Bring your friends. Bring your enemies. Bring your frenemies. I, I didn't read the email. I, I just was told to do this. To I heard it would look good for my image. Go vote. Uh, this is when they redistrict states. Gerrymandering. Yes. Hey, oh. Fortune! Fortune! Keep going, keep going, keep going. You got more. Oh, you got next word, you guys. Next word on the board. I have no fucking idea. Yeah. And they live in Salem, NH. No, North, uh, oh, North. Oh, Don't give the address. You're not going to give the address. I did not do that. I did not do this. I'm to give out the address. I feel like that's not the move to do. Our friends at XQ are making it easy for you to find out about your local school board elections. Please vote. It is not a partisan position thing. Don't cash that away. I'm Canadian. I can't vote.
But an easier way you can make sure you represent yourself as an American is if you vote. How many pledges? 36,728 36, pledges. Come on. Look at that, everybody. It's never been a more important election in my lifetime. Every single vote matters. It matters for women, it matters for people of color, it matters for a discriminated, marginalized groups. If you don't vote in this election, I promise you that I will show up behind you at your local coffee shop. Oh. You guys are in the Cash Cab Democracy Edition. If you can't get to your local polling station, use Lyft. They're offering 50% off, so you have no excuse. Get out there and vote, everybody. Vote! Pretty amazing. We have reached the end of our show. If we can do all this and a big elaborate thing, all you gotta do is vote tomorrow. Yes, thank you to all of you guys who have been here tonight and to everyone at home, everyone who has registered to vote. We got so many people to register to vote. Thank you. It's been the Telephone for America.